With the passing of Uncle Ben, the Parker household was left in a bind with regards to money to support their family. Peter Parker, now Spider-Man, began looking for ways that he could help contribute financially. Peter went forward with the idea that he could use his powers and abilities as Spider-Man to get some money. In his mind, one of his best ideas was to go to the Baxter Building to talk to the Fantastic Four to see if he could join them. Upon his arrival to the Baxter Building, he noticed that the door was only functional when operated by one of the Fantastic Four, so he had to find a new way to get in. Spider-Man made his way to a building across the street and shot a web to the Baxter Building and began to walk across his web like a tightrope. While Spider-Man was moving across his web to the base, an alarm was triggered and Spider-Man appeared on the monitor, notifying the Fantastic Four of the intrusion. The Fantastic Four were puzzled as to why he was trying to break into their base and why Spider-Man didn't simply set up an appointment to talk to them like everyone else. To Spider-Man's surprise, one of the windows of their building was open, making it a cakewalk to break in. As he jumped through the window, a plexiglass cage began to contain him, but Peter was too quick and he held the doors open. The Thing had the first swing at Spider-Man, only to be dodged and countered with a hit, sending the Thing tumbling into the Human Torch. Mr. Fantastic stretched out his arms to grab Spider-Man, but was hit with a web shot that tangled up his hands. Invisible Woman for sure thought that she was going to be able to catch Spider-Man off guard from behind. Peter's spider senses kicked in, however, and he turned on the Invisible Woman, pulling her lasso, which sent her rapidly spinning in circles. The Human Torch began to fly around Spider-Man, trapping him with his fire, but was easily avoided as Peter jumped right out of the trap. Mr. Fantastic, as the leader, decided that trying to fight Spider-Man was not in any of their best interests, to figure out what he came to their building for. Holding back the thing, Mr. Fantastic asked Spider-Man what his intentions were in breaking into their facility. Peter explained that by showing off his skills, he thought that they would let him join the Fantastic Four so that he could make some money. Unfortunately, the Fantastic Four informed Spider-Man that they were a non-profit organization, and that all their proceeds go to paying bills, research, and the development of new crime-fighting equipment. Peter quickly fled the scene after finding out that he would be unable to join the Fantastic Four to help with the finances back home. Thanks so much for watching this video. We really appreciate the support on our videos here at Hero History. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or a comment on the video, and subscribe for more like it. Thanks again, and as always, have a marvelous day.